Good evening and welcome to Claremont Spring 2020 Digital Cafe. Hope you enjoy. Yes, yes, yes.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 
September. All right, September by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Thank you. 
What shall we eat today? But we just met him yesterday. Should we be movie stars? Will we be millionaires? They're watching us anyway. Evelyn, why are you running away? Everything's just come together at last. It's a needle to the vein And I'll always be wanting more I close my eyes at night But I wake up in a daydream Been here a thousand times before Is there pleasure in this pain? Different people, fresher faces But their words always sound the same Knock so hard upon the door But all it does is hurt me I got these scars on scars For making all the same mistakes I'm pulling myself apart Waiting on a hurricane to come in, roll me like thunder, carry me under and spin me back up to the sky. Maybe these scars on the sky tell me I'm still alive, I'm still alive. Sitting on my own again Hoping something's going to change Where's the happiness and torture? What's the sense in me coming insane? At the corner of my mind I, I feel moments but never the full thing And now, yeah I got these scars on the skies for making all the same mistakes I'm pulling myself apart And now, waiting on a hurricane To come in, roll me like thunder Carry me under and spin me back up to the sky Maybe these scars on the skies They tell me I'm still alive I'm still alive Oh, oh Oh, 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 I'm still alive Yeah, I'm bleeding, but I'm not done All this healing is making me strong Might be fading, but I'm never gone Yeah, I got these scars on scars For making all the same mistakes I'm pulling myself apart 
apart And now I'm hiding on a hurricane To come in, roll me like thunder Carry me under and spin me back up to the sky Maybe these scars are scars They're telling me I'm still alive I'm still alive Oh, 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 oh.
Misty eye of the mountains below Keep careful watch of my brother's souls And should the sky be filled with fire and smoke Keep watching over Jaren Sons
family I know. If she's here, it's crystal clear. I'm where I am to go. And at last I see the light. And it's like the fog is lifted. And at last I see the light. And it's like the sky is new. And it's warm and real and bright. And the world has somehow shifted. All at once, everything is different.
is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see. Hi grads, congratulations on making it this far. Hello to the fellow instrumental band members of 2016 to 2017. Hey grade 12s. So congratulations. Three years since I started at Claremont, I do a bit of a speech at the spring year end concert. The grade 12s stand awkwardly on the Claremont stage for one last time, listening to me tell this audience, the student that I've gotten to know. The majority of this class was born in the zodiac year of the horse. The year of the horse are known as free spirits who need to be themselves. This summarizes students I've gotten to know this year. This grad class was fortunate enough to be grade nine with a grade 12 cohort. The strong grade 12 cohort mentored these grade nines and the grade nines stepped it up. I have so many good memories from band, from early mornings to lunch times to pit orchestra. It was always fun when we were in a group. Probably my favorite time with you guys was our musical together. Uh, you guys were a really fun group of people to be stuck in a deep dark pit with. And uh, although no one was cool enough to pick up a bass and be my super cool bass buddy in our year, it was still a lot of fun to play with you guys in all of our bands. I remember when we were playing with you guys for the first time. I remember it being a little bit rough at first, but in just a few months, you guys completely surpassed us. And <laughs> I remember Miss English telling us so. They're out of tune and they're loud, but I can see you guys have improved a lot.
I'm really glad you guys were a part of the music program. And Seeing how much you've improved over the years and how much you still enjoy love playing music at Claremont. The phone section sounds awesome. Maria, great job holding up the trumpet section. So much more technical skill. You should keep music in your life for as long as possible. Keep playing. Congratulations on graduating and sticking with music all four years. Uh, I hope you guys stick with music. I hope there's more opportunities for us to play together again, and I can't wait to see you all. Congratulations. Bye. Keep chasing after the things you like doing, and I wish you the best of luck. I remember you in grade nine instrumental band and wondering how far can... He has a fiery passion for music in his eyes, and he would voice any or all of his concerns. Over the four years, his passion for music, ability to speak freely, and genuine confidence made me push myself. He's one of those students who I would look for the smile or the shake of the head to see if a lesson was working or not. His dedication to music resulted in strong leadership within his section, becoming a quiet leader for his grad cohort, and being the friend all peer groups respected. As he goes off to university and studies sciences, I know music will remain in his life and be a passion that he will find joy in. Please stay in touch. I will miss you. Mason is another well-rounded individual, a strong athlete, strong academics, and a strong musician. Mason manages his time to be a solid team member of everything he is involved in. Quiet and rarely smiling, I know this kid enjoys being a part of band and playing the saxophone. Mason doesn't give smiles away easily, you have to earn it. In grade nine, Mason sat next to an extroverted French horn player. Her goal is to try to get a rise out of Mason daily. Both these students came from large families with multiple siblings, and it was a joy to watch the relationship develop as a sibling rivalry occurred in band. Mason's good nature and dedication will allow him to work in any environment. Wish you the best of luck in all your endeavors keep in touch. I remember Sophia saying in grade nine that she thinks she fades into the background and people don't even remember her name. Such a bold statement for someone to say in grade nine. Well, Sophia, I will never forget your name and I will never forget that you played flute and that you were amazing. Sophia challenged herself and continuously practiced to strive for greatness. Her focus and logic creates a high academic who understands the mathematical aspects of music. Though a difficult one to convince, once her mind is made up, you can't change it for good or for bad. Good that she made her mind up to stay in band. I will miss you. Stay in touch. Sarah and I only had this year together, but her excitement for music reminds me of a rabbit on caffeine. Her smile is never wavering and her determination is like none other. This grade 12 plays one of the most complicated instruments and after taking a two year break from playing, jumped right back in aiming to be at the same level as her peers. I admire this courage and her success. Sarah is the heart of any group. Her quiet support for anyone who reaches out will serve her well in future endeavors. Her passion for marine biology and her uncanny love for the French horn will make Sarah one of those students who will do unconventional wonderful things. Please keep me posted. Sean is the quiet, studious one. Always smiling, he is the student first year teachers think all students are. A suggestion, an assignment, a lesson will be absorbed, practiced, and submitted at the highest quality. His quiet smile shows his interest and eagerness to learn. Sure, he'll be studying computer science, and with his hard work and experience of being a team player, Sean will be sought after. I am sure he will sit down at the piano or pick up the saxophone throughout his life and keep music. I'll miss your quiet enthusiasm. Keep me posted. Maya. Maya transferred into Claremont grade 10. Her previous band teacher was very sad she was leaving their band and told me how lucky I was. And we were very lucky to get Maya. Even as I was told that she would play bass clarinet and she only wanted to play clarinet, she was happy to do anything for the betterment of the band. Maya is elegant, dedicated, talented, quiet, and collaborative. She arrives knowing her part, floats in, and does it. She is always prepared, and if she doesn't feel or want to do something, she says no. 
with the kindest smile and the softest eyes that you're amazed you're not disappointed. Maya is heading off to be a psychologist and her demeanor and dedication and will support and add to her success. I will miss you, Maya, and wish you best of luck. Bevan is known as my Barry sax player. I don't know how he got so famous, nor mine, but Claremont has benefited from his arrival. His dedication to school programs have created a well-rounded, well-liked young man. His passion for music and creativity behind it is evident when he solos in jazz band, or tries a new instrument, or learns to play cello on the Barry sax. I see a reserved professional student, but I think he let loose when he's with his friends. There are many paths Devin can take in life. His passion and escape for music will be the driving force. I'm curious to hear about his future adventures and the paths he follows with music close to his heart. Stay in touch. Wally is the heart of the group. His positive attitude, love of everyone is the reason everyone knows him and loves him. He is the heartbeat of the group metaphorically and literally as his role on the bass drum has been essential. Wally is the first to say good morning and sometimes the only to laugh at my jokes. I will miss his energy, positivity, and positivity. All the best, Wally. Come back and say hi. Maria is the zodiac sign of the horse. She, as a grade nine, walked in, observed the grade 12s, and acted that way ever since, like a grade 12. She hides her emotions, but I know they run deep. She values her friends, but holds her true feelings close to her heart, knowing she cares deeply. I am fortunate enough to hear her emotions when she plays, when she lets loose on her trumpet. It's amazing the passion that is expressed. As she continues to follow her life, life's paths, she will approach with curiosity and clear objectives. Her strength in writing and passion with moral compass will do her well in law. Whatever Maria decides to do, she will. I will miss her music ability, her hidden emotions, and her genuine smile. Please keep in touch. Olivia is that music member that doesn't quite fit like the others, but is more essential than some of the others. Piano players play solo. They don't usually do the ensemble thing. I first met Olivia when Maria came charging into my office saying, I hear you need a piano player for the show. Here's one. The timid Olivia smiles and waves. So I pull out a piano part for orchestra, which is very hard and not like classical music, and say, play this. Well, she attempted and she did very well, if not better than any classically trained high school student. And that was it. I saw potential and determination. Olivia saw fear and determination. Together, we have worked through musicals, choir rehearsals and concerts, and much more. Olivia did it. She became the accompanist. I will miss her. I hope you come back and support the next scared piano player that will be hunted down. Good luck. Wendy has been the quiet singer that has always been supporting the choir from the sidelines. To her, happiness is singing in the choir. Always recruiting, bringing friends to come and sing, Wendy shares her love of music and singing. Though I'm sure Wendy will do great things, her kind enthusiasm will draw any team together, making connections. Please stay in touch and keep singing. Ellie was a musical theater student who realized she could sing all day if she joined choir. Her passion and positive influence is infectious. She is not afraid to express her opinion, but manages to do so in a diplomatic way. This will be great in her future career as a lawyer. She is well-balanced performer in singing, dancing, and acting. And the experience she gained on the Ridge stage will serve her well in arts contract law. I will miss working with Allie and her support and voice towards the overall group. Stay in touch. I didn't meet Kaya until this year, and wow, I met Kaya this year. Kaya's passion for performance is evident. Her confidence and energy radiated in the class. She is a true leader who wants to do well. She is an open communicator and gets her peers involved through planning and accolades. Whether she goes into film, computers, or teaching, all her interests, talents, and passions will collide, creating an amazing adventure. I will miss her energy, talks, and influence. Please keep in touch. Come visit. Hi, I'm Kana Mitchell. My name is Heather. My name is Kate. My name is Lisa. My name is Macy Hayes. So I'm just here to talk to you guys a little bit about music at Claremont. I initially joined band because I was one of those kids that wanted to do everything. Because that'd be fun to try something new. Because 
It's a place where students can go and be themselves, express themselves and their emotions, and turn it into these beautiful pieces and this beautiful music, and I think that's really cool. I joined band when I was in grade six because my grandfather actually played the tenor saxophone, and he said it was really fun. So I gave it a try, and it was probably one of the best things I've ever done. I stayed because I enjoy learning and playing with different people. Because of the atmosphere and the really solid relationships I was able to make, band's really good for that if you're coming from a different school. And I stayed because I love being part of a team that makes something cool. And I also knew that in the future there were going to be a lot of cool opportunities like trips and performances, and I really wanted to know what those were like. My favorite memories are definitely the trips we made, like Port Alberni, Whistler, and Disney. You just get to be part of a lot of fun special events, performances, and trips that you wouldn't otherwise just because you're in band. My favorite aspect of band class is that you're much more involved than in typical academic class. I really like the dynamic that everyone has. Everyone's there to make music together. That first rehearsal where everything just starts fitting into place. I'm just getting that feeling of satisfaction that Maybe it was hard to learn, maybe it was easy, but now you get to show off this thing you've been working on. My personal favorite aspect of the class is just how calming it is for me. I really like music and I find it sets up my day really well. And then also I just like how inclusive it is. Some advice I would give to my younger self would be to practice lots and expose myself to multiple different genres of music. Keep practicing. For sure, to practice more. Remember to practice. It's worth it. Practice a lot. In the end, you probably won't remember what your grade five math teacher said to you, but what you will remember is all the fun that you had in band class, the fun songs that you played, and the memories that you cherished with all of your friends. If I could tell my younger self something, um, I would just say, just do you. If it's bringing you joy, and you're getting something out of it and you like it, then there's no reason not to stay in it, really. I think music's important to me because through learning an instrument, I've met lots of new people. And I feel that music's important to our community and to our school because it's, it's a common ground for people, considering most people appreciate music in some form, and this can manifest in bringing a school or community together to watch and collectively appreciate a music performance. I just find that I can come in in the morning center myself and focus on something, just check whatever I'm going through at the door, and then walk out and go to my first class. I'm so much more engaged in that class. Music is something that we all come together to create. It's something that brings us joy. Music is something that just binds all of us together as people, which is important, especially now in the pandemic. Uh, in band, you get shenanigans that you don't get anywhere else, that's for sure. I don't know if you guys have ever played a concert, but for me, when I play my first high school concert, you look out there and you just see that you're able to take people away from whatever they're going through, even if it's just for three to four minutes at a time. That can be really powerful and you don't even really realize it until you're in that moment. So I would encourage you to join bands so you can have that own aha moment for yourself and just really see that music has such a deeper effect than we all think on the community. Thanks for listening and I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope this video was informative and helps you make a better decision on whether or not to join band and I hope you do and maybe I'll get to see you uh, in a couple years, so bye!